Hello Chocks and Chocolates, and in between Chocolate Bread here for another video review. It's the new Nutella Biscuits. Yeah, or uh, as you can see there, it's not a, well it still says new, but uh, not new in English, new in German I think. Yeah, I'm quite sure of that. Um, so it's an imported product, got it from Farm Foods. Um, yeah, and I think uh, basically, I believe that these are very similar to the McVitie's Blissfuls, but I believe these came first. Um, and it's a great, uh, yeah, you know, so thanks so much for Scotty for pointing these out for me. Um, very, very happy to get these. Massive pack as well, I'm sure it's a lot bigger than the Blissfuls pack. Uh, really does feel very substantial. One of the problems I've always had with um, biscuits with a sort of sandwich sense, sandwich sort of type biscuit with a cream sense and two biscuit layers either side, is that usually there's just too much biscuit um, and you can't taste the cream in the middle basically. But one way the, uh, I noticed that was really good the Bliss McVitie's Blissfuls used was that they got rid of, uh, well they basically they had a sort of um, you know this 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 effect where it's like a sort of like almost like a dish almost the bottom half and then the top it's just a very small thin layer placed on top of it gently or delicately or it looks delicate anyway it probably isn't but <laughs> so you can still see it's coming through a bit at the sides and I think that's uh, basically the way they've got around it so it's a really good idea and um, the fairy came up with it first and did these Nutella biscuits really impressed with that idea and uh, yeah all, all credit to them it's an amazing idea and it's you know it's what I've always been saying is a problem particularly things like Jerry Dodgers and other biscuits like that just just been just too much biscuit for the filling you know and you just can't really enjoy the filling I found anyway um, it's not to say the biscuits are nice but it's just too much I want the filling you know, in the Jerry Dodger and a lot of the Fox's equivalents of what they're called now. Fox's Dodgers, I don't know. <laughs> they do a brilliant job, actually, of getting it just right. And I think it helps because they've got a different kind of biscuit. But either way, they do a brilliant job. Theirs are really nice. But yeah, very, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. It looks a bit, nice, a bit like a sort of casserole dish. Or is it a terrine or something? Whatever they're called, I'm not sure. There's, or even like a tapas. Um, sort of like bowl that you get you know, in tapas restaurants where they lift the top off. And uh, you've got sort of like a dish full of stuff. Very interesting graphic. I quite like it here. It's got obviously what it is there. You've got wheat and hazelnuts. Some kind of green thing there. I don't know what that's, that green is. I don't know how that's maybe if it's related to hazelnut. I'm not sure. Some fruit as well. Don't forget you can't forget to, can't forget to have your five a day. <laughs> Go to have some fruit and a coffee. And uh, some idea. Yeah, I don't know. wonder what these were at first. I think they're actually cloths, aren't they? You know, towels or something. But I thought they were a bit like sort of square shaped or rectangular uh, tortillas at first. But um, yeah. So there we go. Yeah. But yes, enjoy your Nutellas, but don't forget to have some fruit and a coffee. Some cloth. <laughs> yeah, well, right, so go look on the back as well. So see what the, uh, you can see here it's got the English translation there. Um, got some there, because obviously it's a German product, so I have to, I assume it's German anyway, so I have to um, put the translation on. You can see there it's, I uh, assume that says pretty much biscuit with um, a Nutella cream centre, I think, but roughly on those lines. I like a little uh, heart there as well in an end. Got an end in the heart with a little shiny thing around it. <laughs> Sunburst or something. Um, so what I've got here, so we've got the English translation there. Biscuits with a filling of hazelnut spread with cocoa and Nutella. That's probably what it says on the front. 304 grams. It's a 304 gram bag. Well, there we go. So it says, I assume it says it's got roughly 22 inside there. I assume. Okay, so what I've got here. So um, ingredients, hazelnut spread with cocoa. 40% sugar, you've got palm oil there as well, you can see. Hazelnuts, 13%, skim milk powder. Wheat flour, 32.5%, that's palm. Colonel and uh, palm in there. So palm oil's in this, basically. You can see that it does say uh, keep between 24 and 18 degrees. Even though it's in German, you can quite clearly, you know. Good graphic shows you don't need, it can be language independent and still get the message across. Well, of course, we do still need to know the, <laughs> uh, the numeric system, but it does repeat it here as well, which is why. And 18 to 24. That's the individual sale, so I wonder if that means that they're individually packed. We've got the calories there, but it's easier to see here, I think. So per 100 grams, 511 calories, 24.6 grams of fat, 11.5 which are saturates, and per stuck, which I mean, presume is biscuit, 30.8 grams, 70 calories, 3.4 grams of fat, 1.6 of which are saturates. All right, so it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, comes with Nutella, I assume it says, something along those lines. Uh, there you go, it has Nutella in it. That's probably talking about the biscuit. Interesting, interesting. Yes, looks very nice. I like the look of it, as I say. I quite uh, I like the look of it. I think it looks uh, pretty good. I like the way it's got this sort of the old school style, almost anyway, of like the Galaxy bars before they did their revamp recently. That sort of creamy look to it here. Not quite as much as they did, but uh, reminiscent of it. Looks a bit sort of, you know, I don't know. I feel like they probably do need a bit of a rebrand Nutella, um, but it is recognisable, I guess. But it does feel a bit old now, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I did like the uh, Galaxy, the old school Galaxy uh, wrappers, but yeah, I can see, you know, when looking at this compared to those new Galaxy wrappers, this does look a bit older. Um, hmm. 
So, although, yeah, so I was a bit out of advocate of keeping, you know, why they changed the Galaxy ones, but maybe they were right to do it. So, yeah, <laughs> it does look a bit more modern, I guess. But yeah, as I say, yeah, have some biscuits, have some fruit, have a coffee, have some cloth. <laughs> okay, well, let's give these a closer look. Let's give them an open. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to give these Nutella biscuits an open. Yes, yeah, so look uh, very interesting indeed. Look very nice, very nice. The time recording I've done about, um, I don't know if it's reviews, believe it or not. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. You know, top right hand corner, I'll put place for all my other reviews um, and some related ones as well. So I've got some Nutella type ones or here's some spready ones or things like that. So after you've uh, watched this one, go check those out. Have you enjoyed those too? So there you go, look at that. So you can see it's uh, not full, there's a very you know, much of a lots of it is missing there, and of course, don't forget we have already removed a bit of the top, so it's you know pretty much half full, I guess. It wasn't sealed either, which is strange by this reseal. I do like that the way it's got this uh, reseal affair. I don't, I don't know what they're called these things, but you can see where you can clip it together and then it's sealed. So I like that. That's good. That's good. Normally, you have to put them in your biscuit tin, but not in this case. <laughs> so it looks uh. Very nice, and they smell um, very lovely. Now I do wonder why you know they, they do these where they put them in these pouches rather than like a biscuit, well a regular sort of biscuit pack. You know, maybe it's just so they can put them on the, the chocolate aisle. I'm not sure. But yeah, they look very nice. Let's uh, tip them out, find out how many we've got. Let's make sure we've got the uh, 22, like we were promised. <laughs> well, these do look. Uh, there's loads of them. I mean, there's absolutely loads in here. So let's say it does say it should be 22 here. There you go, 22 stuck. Probably says about 22 stuck. And it says per stuck there, so there we go. All right, there we are. So, yes, yeah, so have we got 22? Let's find out. So, separate them into piles of five or groups of five. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see if that's right. So, yes, I think we do. Five, ten, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-two. Yes, not bad. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So, here we go. So, what they look like. You see there. So there we go, that's what they look like. So pretty nice looking, pretty plain. I think I do prefer the look of the Blissfuls, although they did have a bit of an old design on them, but uh, yeah, I think they do look a bit better. See, quite thick, plain bottom. Not too bad, but yeah, that sort of same so on the front. I think Mavitis kind of seem to make, create an emblem for themselves, create a new logo for themselves, just for those Blissful biscuits. <laughs> and Nutella have got this one there. I think they've used that before, but that's what they've got on the front anyway. So there we go. All right, let's give it a bit of a measure then. So um, let's say it's wider at the bottom than at the top, as you can see. Um, so we'll do both, fix on zero. Roughly 4.4 centimeters at the bottom. At the top, roughly, very roughly, about 4.2. And the height, about 1.2, 1.23. There we go. Okay, not bad, not bad. So let's, um, now how do we do this? You might, I think it might be easier just to bite it really and snap it in half. I think what's going to happen, this is going to crush down. So I don't think, if I've snapped it in half, I don't think I'm going to get a good, well, A, it's not easy to snap. Um, and it won't be easy to cut either. I think you might cut it from the side maybe. But I think if I bit it, that'd be the best bet. So I think we'll look at the um, the composition of the inside when we bite it, when I eat it. So without further ado, let's uh, do that. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to give these Nutella biscuits a taste. Yeah, so we've opened a few of them earlier. And most of them are in good condition, but I just noticed that one of them was a bit, uh, a bit, uh, seems a bit worse for wear around the edge. But there we go. So does that have a U or an N? I think, <laughs> I think it's an N for Nutella, basically. But there we are. All right, so yeah, so... Okay, so um, yeah, without further ado, let's just give them a taste. Very, uh, very excited. These look very nice, very tasty. Let's say they've got that. Um, have they got rid of that problem that most um, sort of like cream-filled biscuits have, where there's just too much biscuit um, on the either surround? And this one, as I say, it's just got a sort of mini, mini sort of topper just to keep it safe, the cream safe from um, interaction. So you can't really, uh, yeah, you can touch it, but it's not too runny there. But let's say if it was all exposed, it probably would be a bit too much. Let's give it a taste. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, wow. It's full of cream. Mm. Or full of Nutella. I mean, it's just, um, yeah, wowzer. You can see I've just lifted up the, just lifted it up a bit there. You can see just how full it is. It's just really full. I mean, that's, 
That's what you want from a, a biscuit, isn't it? That's got a cream filling of some kind or whatever filling, Nutella in this case. But if it was a bourbon biscuit or, you know, a jammy dodge or anything, that's how you want the filling to be, isn't it? Just full on intense and plenty of it, you know, and you can really taste it, you know what I mean? Hmm. Wow. Hmm. It's really nice. Hmm. Funny actually, it's quite subtle. Um, you know, it's Nutella. It's quite. It feels like. I don't feel like overly nutty taste. Overly hazelnutty. I'm assuming it is still Nutella though. But um, hmm. Damn. Interesting. Let's um, give a bit of a dip in a hot drink. Got a bit of a coffee I prepared earlier. So hmm. let's give it a go. Yeah. I think this will be amazing. This. This should be amazing. Let's see. Hmm. Wow. Goodness me. Hmm. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> mm. Wow, yeah, absolutely just melts the middle, melts the biscuit a bit more. It just really absolutely fabulous. I'm just gonna bite one in half and then just um dip half in. And then again just look at that. I mean there's still a biscuit layer on top. But it's it's just a lot thinner than the rest of it. You just get so much filling. It just really is the way to do, you know, a biscuit with a cream filling. They've got to replace all the others now. I mean, some of them work okay. I mean, Oreos are all right. Bourbon's possibly just about. I know there's just some biscuits I think, like Jammy Dodgers particularly, I think, which would definitely benefit from being a bit more full like this. I'm just going to um, dip it once it's been exposed a bit more to the. You know, the once it's had the sensor exposed a bit more, I'm going to dip this into a coffee just to see, because I think this will be almost like um, paradise. I think. Hmm. Goodness me. Really nice, really nice. When dunked, it's it's, it's really nice anyway. But um, when dunked, it just melts everything even more. Um, obviously, if the drink's hot. <laughs> um, really nice, really, really love this. I think, to be honest with you, though, I think I prefer the Blissfuls. I think I prefer their hazelnut flavour, to be honest with you. Not necessarily the hazelnut flavour, if that makes sense. Just the whole biscuit as a whole. I think I preferred it. Um, what that does. Really mean I did prefer the hazelnut flavour as well. I feel like it's not that strong in this one. I feel like the blissful was just a bit better. Um, mm, but only just. This is really nice. This is really nice. I've got to have another. Got to have another one. They're just so so lovely, so Moorish. Particularly when dunked. Mm. Really nice. Really, really nice. Mm. I think I haven't got the blissfuls to hand. I think from memory though, I was very, very happy with those. And I think I think I did prefer them just about, but it's very close. These are very similar. Um I said the nutty the hazelnut taste is quite subtle, I think, actually. More subtle than I was expecting. I think it is a bit more prominent in the McVitie's blissfuls, but um again, I don't have them to hand to know for sure, but I feel like it from memory I feel like it was. But these are still really nice, really, really nice. Great concept, you know, the idea is just really, really good. Really nice biscuit. Lovely filling, really creamy, really thick, great when dunked as well. Lots and lots of lots to say about this, it's really nice. I think even though it's um, not quite as good, it's marge, it's only slightly, from memory I guess as well, of course, you know, you, 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 sometimes when you think back on things, you think they're better than they were or whatever. Uh, maybe this one, I was, I was expecting something fabulous, and I still got something fabulous, but I was expecting it this time, whereas I wasn't with the Blissfuls, um, you know, I wasn't sure what to make of it, but, so that could be what it is. I think, um, I'm tempted to give them slightly less than uh, than what I gave the um, McVitie's Blissfuls because I feel like these are perhaps not as nice. But these ones really excel when dunked. You know, I think they're not quite up there. Um, the as I recall, with the McVitie's Blissfuls, um, when I think they, I think the flavour of the cream comes out just a bit better with those when they're not dunked. I think these ones they really need to be dunked in a hot drink. I think um, if they're not, they're still very nice, but the flavour's not quite up there. So I don't think I can quite give these a five to five like I was intending. Actually, I was pretty much yes, these are five to five, but they're still really nice. They're still great. The flavour's just not quite as strong when not dunked. So rather than a five out of five, uh, I'm going to give these a four and a half out of five, which is still a really good score, but um, they really need to be dunked to get the maximum potential out of them really, the maximum taste. Mm. 
Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out the YouTube member program. It's a great way to support the channel, it really is. The link for that's in the description. This is a link for the Discord server, which is a great way to keep in touch with myself and the community. Yeah, leave a like or free. Leave a comment. Always great to hear from me. Always do my best to reply. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya. Bye.